So welcome back to the second part of my um, little two-part series on Christmassy books for children. Um, the first video, if you haven't seen it, you can, uh, it'll be posted obviously on the same page, um, was on a Advent Christmas books that had a religious theme. So Catholic, Christian, um, the, the, this is the first Christmas. So that was the theme of the first one. Um, equally beautiful, I think, are ni it's nice to have a lovely Christmas books in the house um, and a lot of families have the tradition of reading a Christmas book a day uh, during Advent um, which is very nice um, so this is our collection of I have some more but I, I, I couldn't put my hand on them all at this at the same time so I'm just going to go through them and um, hopefully you'll get a few ideas of nice Christmas books that you can either give as gifts or, or invest in for your family or grandchildren or whatever so the first one here is I actually got it last year from the Bodleian Press. Um, I, was actually, I was actually buying a present for my brother who had a big birthday, he was a real Tolkien fan. And I found this on the same website as this gorgeous, say, Tolkien sort of collector's um, set. Um, so I decided to get it because it is, um, a, it, I'm pretty sure it's the Bodleian, yeah, the Bodleian Library Press. Um, so this is an actually a facsimile of a book um, from 1894 and it's, it's considered an important book a uh, because um, it, it, it depicts it's like a social document that it depicts very accurately what Christmas was like at that time so it's an ABC um, book which is always nice um, you can never have too many ABCs you can actually make a whole collection of ABC books and um, so here is the fantasy can so it has all of the different, so it's a Christmas cracker, and so it just shows all the different there's games and um, <laughs> visitors and so on, the umbrella. So that is that is a lovely, I, I just love looking at these um, old books and I kind of leave them, you know, out on the on the table, you know, during this, during Christmas and people just love looking, look at that, like the fruit, the pile of fruit um, there so nice yeah so that's a, that's a lovely little book and i think that was five euro or something like that very 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 cheap um this is another one that i actually just got last year and this person here uh, john good goodall um he has there's quite a number in this series he's got like a a summer an edwardian summer um and edward he's got one called the field and i think has he got the one who's got the family i'm not sure but anyway this one is an edwardian christmas it's another wordless book and it has so in the Edwardian house first of all they have the train station and the people arriving for for Christmas greeting the guests oh, I just love this all my daughters love this book um, getting ready um, you know the different Christmas activities shopping and then the Christmas feasts and um, going to church and so on oh I just love this book I look at, I could look at this book forever and there's a lovely one the um, summary one as well it's kind of um, it's just basically it, life in the Edwardian it's very idealized you know but really beautiful and um, this one is another Dennis Nolan I believe yes it is by Maxine Rhea Layton so this one is about um, so Ellis Island so it's, it's an immigration story of a girl who had left um, Poland and going to America and here she is arriving in she spots the Statue of Liberty and um, it just is, it's not particularly Christmassy, but she arrives at Christmas anyway. And I, I have a few immigration uh, books, which are, I'll show another time. Um, so it just gives the atmosphere and it's quite a lot of, there's the, the journey and you just see the kind of, you know, all the emotions and suffering a lot of people went through and then the hope and so on of arriving in America. So. I think that's lovely. I'm just trying to see where the Christmas part of it is. Um, oh, here they are. They're having a little Christmas celebration. Um, so it's just an, another nice one just to kind of, and the, and the gift, I think she'd, she'd been told she was to leave that doll behind because she didn't have enough room in her luggage. And then obviously they, they kept on. The, the father had gone earlier um, ahead of them to get it work and so on. So it's just one of those stories of kind of hope and 
people. You know, just how life isn't always easy. Very nice. These two are two of my favourite books, Christmas or otherwise. Um, and these ones here. So Christmas Wishes and um, Reindeer Wish, uh, The Reindeer Wish by Laurie Everett. A photograph by Per Bree, Bree Hagen. So they, these are um, a husband and wife team, or not team, team, team. <laughs> so Laurie Everett is the author of blah, blah, blah. She loves writing. So she is actually, um, uh, she does, um, pro, uh, you know, kind of stage design and like a, a window, you know, these kind of high end a window, shop windows and so on. Um, wardrobe stylist and so on. So she's kind of an, an advertising photographer as well. And then um, the husband is Perbury and is a photographer. She, he, he's a photographer. So, and this is their daughter, Anna. So this, a, I can see them, they're gorgeous. Um, so they're all of the, the, the little girl. And they're kind of like, you know, like kind of North, um, North Scandinavian sort of Christmas, Christmas atmosphere, you know, very, um, so she wants to, meet the reindeer and so on and there she is so they just they have far in <laughs> I look like I'm peeping over the wall here um just really gorgeous uh, I love these so there she is and then so that's the reindeer wish and then the Christmas wish is she goes there she meets the reindeer and equally beautiful there she is making her Christmas um very Christmassy atmosphere um getting the Christmas tree and our little costumes are just gorgeous. The same age goes off on the horse and goes out there's a northern light so it's on my bucket list. Um, and she goes off to see Santa, I believe. There she's asleep beside the polar bear. Sorry. Um, there. I just think these are lovely. They're so atmospheric and so Christmassy. Um, the sleigh and there she is look flying flying with the reindeer over this beautiful scenery of Norway they're, they're Norwegian and there she is she meets Santa um, and he brings her home I believe yes he brings her home so they are gorgeous really really lovely um, I won't say these are beautiful but I think you can't have a childhood without uh, Richard Scarry so the night before Christmas when everything goes wrong um, I just love Richard Sky, they're so classic and they're so funny. So all of our children love them. So I just think even though while they're they're more quirky than beautiful, but I just love Richard Scarry. Um, and this is a lovely one the night before Christmas. Here we have the very classic the snowman, which um this is a very obviously well tattered and this is this the more collector's edition and of course we all know the snowman and um, wordless and a, a little bit sad um, but very very nice um, Raymond Briggs and all of his books he had a, a, this lovely book it was so 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 sad uh, called um, When the Wind Blows I think and it was about nuclear the nuclear um, at the time when the world was very worried about nuclear um, warfare and this poor old couple and it's just so sad but anyway this is a, it's so beautiful I love it um, this one is just a treasure I absolutely love. So it's Alison Utley, who I just adore, Alison Utley, and I the little girl. Um, and it's The Little Grey Rabbit's Christmas. Um, picture, uh, pictures by Margaret Tempest. So these are so classic, and I don't think you're going to get these new. I think you'll have to get them. Um, first published 1939, and this edition is 1988, so I, I actually bought it secondhand. So they're just so... Um, some of my children just loved books that were safe and cozy and non-threatening you know no witches and no ogres so these sort of books are just perfect for ch children like that or any children and um, the world can be uh, overwhelming and i think these sort of little books just help with children's innocence and just help with a sense of kind of safety and cozy and which is what children should have children shouldn't be dealing with the problems of the world and um, so that is lovely i really recommend that and this is another one that's just so classic um, that everybody, uh, this is all scribbled on and everything. And we've had this basically, I think, since my first child, um, the lift the flap, you know, when you find the little duck, um, Osborne. The, the, these are, I, 
fairly sure these are still available. So that is, that's a nice one getting ready for Christmas. This one here is Thomas Locker, Grandfather's Christmas Tree, written by Chris Keith Strand. Um, a young couple begins their life together in the Colorado wilderness. They clear the land, build a house and plan for the baby that will soon be born. But nothing could prepare them for what is to come. A fierce winter storm blows in and they are left with only their hopes and prayers. This heartwarming Christmas tale of faith and family will make you believe that miracles do happen. So this is obviously an American based story. And I got it because I just think the illustrations are spectacular. Look at that. So it's obviously the, um, the early, um, the people, the, the drive west, you know, so like um, Laura Ingalls time. That reminds you of actually the little house in the big woods and there's the mother with the little baby and so on. So that is um, beautiful, really gorgeous. The illustrations are lovely, just one to add to your collection. Um, this is one, another one we've had for years and years, the little bear's Christmas, and I remember buying so scribbled as well. And it's actually part of the, the Christmas tradition. Uh, it has to be sitting out, even though they're all, most of them are in their 20s now. Um, just a little bear, bear that wants to stay up uh, for Christmas, and he sets his alarm. Uh, and he, he meets, he goes out and he meets the snow when he gets, uh, and then Santa brings him home. So that was just a little one we've always had. I won't say it's the best book in the whole world, but I just, I love it and our children all loved it. This is another one, this is a modern classic. It's Graham Oakley, the, the Church Mice series. And there's loads, there's loads of, um, there's loads in that, in that one. But this is the Church Mice Christmas. So the Church Mice, uh, who are as poor as Church Mice, obviously they want to have a Christmas party. And the cat who's their friend, he helps out and so on. And it is, goes on from there and they it all goes wrong and then it all goes right so that's lovely church mice those gray moakley the church mice books are all are all really really nice stick man which i don't need to uh, tell you about which is just a lovely story about home for christmas and then this is the last one now um is christmas treasury which is there i just got that on the internet somewhere so this is just a the family classic edition and it's a lovely um, collection of what I really like about it. So, so the illustrations are very nice. So it has Christmas carols, Christmas songs, Christmas stories. And it also has, look at that, it's very nice, the first Christmas. It has, um, so this could go in either of those videos. It has lots of little stories about, um, for example, you know, the origin of the Christmas tree, you know, St. Boniface cutting down the, the oak uh, that was being um, for Thor. And it has, it also has Christmas in um, countries around the world. So it has here Christmas in England and it has Christmas in, so Italy, Christmas in Germany, Christmas in France, Mexico, China, Christmas in Ethiopia, Christmas in Holland, Christmas in Australia. So I'm actually looking forward to doing that over the next week, few weeks uh, with my daughter. Um, just in the morning time, we, we always start a school with um, with stories, reading and so on. And it has been nice just to kind of study or to, you know, to study, just listen to what they do around the world at Christmas. So I think that's lovely. The illustrations are gorgeous. Um, so that is it. And I do have other books and I have I've some on <laughs> ordered that haven't come yet so uh, we'll see maybe next year i'll show them a uh, my next i'm going to make a few more videos over the next few days um one on just nice presents for older girls you know kind of young women because my daughters are kind of in their 20s and um just some lovely things that are just a little bit outside the box that, that i've given them over the last few years things that they actually like and some some beautiful uh, gift books for older older girls or, or young adults um and a, I have a few other ideas but anyway a, I hope you enjoyed this video and and feel free to share or whatever a, and I hope you've got some some nice ideas and a very happy advent <laughs>